Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press, live from uh, Toronto Auto Show. I'm very excited here at the Cadillac booth because we have a very unique car and a very unique person. Can you introduce yourself to us? Yep, I'm Alex McDonald. I'm the chief engineer for the Cadillac Celestic. So this is not your ordinary vehicle. It's a one of a kind, very unique from Cadillac because we're looking at a price range that's rivaling some of the most expensive cars in the world. Tell us a little bit more about the concept behind Celestic. Sure, so the concept behind Celestic is to demonstrate the true essence and capability of Cadillac. This is a space that we haven't uh, been in as a brand since 1957, roughly, yes. uh, yeah. where we are top tier. And it's right. to do it um, n not as necessarily a, a direct competitor, but as a u innovator in the space. So right. EV, uh, an amazing structure, an amazing chassis, uh, a lot of technology that brings um, brings capability that you wouldn't expect even in this in this class uh, from an engineering standpoint. And it's a full EV, right? Yes, yes. full EV. Now I know um, the price will range a lot based on the customization, but it's sort of in the, in the Canadian dollars neighborhood of about half a million, I think. Yeah, around there. Yeah. And in the U.S. is about. 250 or 300? No, a little about? higher than that. Yeah, 360, 360 something, I think. Yeah. And then, like you said, that's that's um, the, the one of the beauties of this car is that it is a really involving design experience for the customer. So right. um, that client gets to come into the Cadillac house in uh, our tech center, very near the, the Artisan Center where we manufacture the car, and right. do a full design exercise. I uh, see. And they, um, in that space, you, you uh, develop your final uh, MSRP. Right, OK. Yeah. So about that price range we're competing with, the likes of Rolls Royce and Bentley and so what's the philosophy it wouldn't be your typical Cadillac buyer right so how would you um, conquest sales I guess away from the established brands so we've been driving some of these around now and I've had people in who are customers of our competitive set yeah. and uh, the first thing they say is uh, oh I see why you're doing this this is okay. new this is I something see. new different um, yeah. this is something different and I think uh, there's also a, a pent up desire for us to do a car this incredible this, yes. uh, here in the US uh, with a brand like Cadillac. Uh, right. A lot of people have a lot of questions about um, about what we're doing. Yes, the question yeah. you never get is why. Uh, it's, it's always okay. just, oh, this is awesome. I'm so happy you guys are doing this. This is, right. uh, this is something we've been waiting for a long time and we're trying to do that justice with this car. I see, I uh, see, yeah. okay. But why not price it so that it was like, let's say, I'm just giving a number here, but. 150 to 250 US range as opposed to like why go all the way to that level? So I think what's the, what's we're that? showing that we can win at that level. Uh, okay, this okay. car, if you look at, you know, authentic materials, for instance, uh, you know, uh, this is everything that looks like metal on this car is metal. Okay. That's something none of our competitive set is doing. Right. Uh, which right. may surprise some people. Okay. Um, so we we have, uh, you know, the, the body is carbon fiber. Can, can uh, you show us around a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Okay? And uh, you, you're the chief engineer, so you know this car inside out. Yep. And so we'll love to hear um, a little bit more about what makes it special? You know, we can go, there's a lot of different ways to go around this. Maybe we'll just do it location-based. Tires, sure. for instance, bespoke Michelin tires. These are 23-inch wheels. 23. Uh, Michelin has, uh, for the first time, has our graphic on the sidewall. Oh, wow. uh, That's okay. how custom this tire is for this car. Mm. It brings it capability you don't find in the competitive set from a, a EV range, mm -hmm. grip, uh, rain capability, it's an, it's an amazing tire and sort of the foundation of the suspension the technology thing. we build off of. But it's based off of Pilot Sports, is that Yeah, the yeah basic fundamentally, design? yep, yeah. yep. Um, and then uh, we have, you know, some design details. This is a, an aluminum uh, trim that um, has the button for the charge door opening mm. and has a crystal Cadillac Goddess mm. uh, backlit in okay, here. Okay, cool. Th when you move into the, the interior space and the, the, the cockpit area, this roof uh, is uh, a piece of glass that challenged the entire glass industry to, to create, given its size, proportion, mm. and capability. So it's a one solid single one glass. One solid single glass. The obvious feature is uh, that it's got a, a lighting pattern in, inside, so when in the evening it's side lit with LEDs, but there's a middle layer of the glass that, that refracts that into a Mondrian pattern from okay. above. 126 colors, you can choose, uh, I see. You can choose your color kind there. Kind of like the Rolls Royce uh, thing that they have, but they have the little individual LED. Exactly. But yep. Same kind of idea. Same, gives you that same spacious uh, uh, presence. I see, okay. And then on top of that, we have um, a, uh, a tintable coating in the, in the middle of the glass. So four quadrants, one over each uh, passenger, Right. And you can dim them independently. Oh, really? Uh, okay, And cool. it's it's an amazing. It's one of the first things we show people. It's a it's a line that's as fine as a razor blade uh, that see. delineates the oh, wow. the okay. four quadrants. So, the glass is amazing. When you get inside the car, uh, four zone uh, climate. 
Mm -hmm. And also, uh, all the touch points are heated. So even your armrests, your I seat, see. your steering wheel, and we have neck scarves that warm uh, your neck. So with yeah. an EV, that's particularly important to keep the range uh, at, a, at a high level when you're mm. even in inclement conditions. You don't have to heat the entire car right. when everything you touch is warm. I see, I see, okay. Um, mm. it, lots of technology to talk about mm. in the in the, mm. the cooling system alone right. uh, is, is uh, very interesting here. So, so the panels, so you say they're all metal, so they're aluminum, I assume. No, the, the no? panel, the, the structure is aluminum. It's yeah. a cast aluminum structure. One of the really interesting things is it's, it's celestic only. Okay, so I see. many manufacturers, you know, it's tough in this volume, mm. at this exclusive volume to to do a, a one bespoke one structure. One right, be true. We've yeah. got a really amazing casting technology that lets us cast this vehicle in six pieces oh, really? uh, at a low volume for for uh, with amazing performance. So even the outside panels? So no, then the outside panels oh, are a combination of carbon fiber in a lot okay. of areas. So the hood and the mm. hatch and the fenders are carbon fiber. Okay, the doors are an SMC. Right. Um, and again, that's mm. another place where we can marry technologies that you can do at this exclusive volume and you get added performance as okay, well. So I we're not see. trying to do them because they're, you know, low cost tooling. We're doing them because they're high performance and we can do them at this volume. So but underneath the metal is cast. cast yeah, cast. Okay. Uh, significant casting. Yeah. There's also another technology uh, which is uh, warm right. formed aluminum. Okay. So okay. like the body side that you would see in the door jams when you open the doors. Right. That's a sheet of aluminum that's brought up to a pliable temperature, almost like a Play-Doh. Okay. And then it's vacuum formed on a one-sided die. So a really I innovative see. technology that lets us have a uh, brushed a surface aluminum finish. Mm. So when you open the hood, when you open the hatch, uh, you see large panels of aluminum that have a beautiful brushed finish. I That's see. able okay. to be done because we don't smash the thing with two big dies. They're done right. with this warm forming process. Okay, interesting. So. Is, it, is it similar to Giga casting? No, Giga, so very, very different. Very different. Giga okay. casting is extremely capital intensive. So right. uh, to big do, equipment, right? you need, and you need to be making hundreds of thousands of right. cars off of your giga yeah. things. This is a this is a performance that's similar, uh, but able to be done very rapidly at a very low volume. The piece price is higher. Each right. component costs us a lot more than a giga casting. Yeah. But in this space, that's you know part of it, part cost of, the, of entry is what, right. <laughs> what you would call I it. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Interesting. Uh, anything else about the exterior that I can point out? Like, what about the painting process? Uh, the painting or? process is amazing. Mm. Uh, it is a full show car paint uh, done by. Uh, we've partnered with a company called Prefix. Uh, who does uh, a number of show cars we rattle off that you've seen and heard uh, mm -hmm. at shows. Uh, so they do an amazing job bringing the, the finish uh, to a, an exacting standard. Is it still like, uh, you know, like multi-layers so of yep. different coating? It's a traditional paint process. Paint okay. uh, and part of that is because there's a number of radars on the car okay. for adaptive uh, driving systems and for the power doors. They have mm. radars in the door. Oh, they keep it from opening into an obstacle. Right, okay, uh, okay. And that has to be able to see through the paint. I so see, okay. we have a validation process to make sure that radar mm. can see through paints. Right. This is painted in that same Because these are really process. big doors, right? They're, the yeah, front fairly door looks long like doors. it's huge, both this way and that way. Yep. Can, are we allowed to open the doors? Or? Yeah, I yeah. We can, yep. Yeah. So maybe you can show us a little bit what's happening inside, but that's obviously where the differences will be. Yes, yeah, so I mean, the number one thing is you can see all of the different uh, zones where you can customize. So all of these components, uh, we have a really cool, uh, huge uh, digital display mm. in our uh, Cadillac house where you order the car mm -hmm. and you can custom match all of your leather and your, your piping, mm -hmm. uh, all those things, uh, the deco trim uh, down I here. I can smell the leather from here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and then when you get into sort of the more unique things, this uh, material here, this is a real stainless steel. That is a stamped stainless steel okay, piece. Okay, I see. Um, again, Beautiful. authentic material. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the window switches, these are 3D printed stainless steel. Okay, I uh, see. So that's a way to make sure that everything you're touching that looks like metal is real metal. Mm -hmm. um, this These pieces across the dash, Again, all cast aluminum uh, with mm. a highly finished. Um, you know, we can go on for a while about the various and, and uh, the back metal seat? finishes. I'll just close this for a second. Is yeah. Okay. Yep. Is this soft close, uh, I suppose. It's soft okay. power. Yep. The back seat. Again, just can't, can't believe how big the doors are. Yes. And, and the back seat. The back seat. The main feature is that it's not that much different than the front seat. Oh, okay. Uh, I see, yeah. I see. It's. Um, it's a uh, very you, similar okay. experience. We wanted uh, the rear seat passengers to be as or more comfortable than the front mm -hmm. seat passengers. They have the rear seat entertainment system. Mm -hmm. um, Am I allowed to sit? Yeah, sure. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Is this a production mode or No, this is a very early car. Okay, very early car. Well, the smell, the leather, it's like yeah. Italian leather almost. You got it, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I see the Yeah, you can see the, the tint is uh, selected yeah. on this one uh, for more tint in the rear seat. 
it does feel like a very different than any other kind of high-end cars I've sat in like just the design wise it feels very futuristic like almost something out of a movie set so yeah very just a very different feel from anything else I've yes I've seen so and it's one of those things you do have to see in person it's hard to describe if you're experienced in mm. this competitive set, how different this car okay, is, right. both from a, a present standpoint and from a detail standpoint. So how would you um, um, kind of court potential buyers, like people who haven't considered this before, They're, they want to buy a Rolls Royce or a Bentley or something else, or Aston Martin, and you're trying to say, hey, maybe this is something you should think about. How would you even approach that? It's really a ground up process. So it's okay. being out there. We were at Art Basel in Miami uh, mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. Um, we've been to a number of Concor. Uh, so um, it's it's meeting the right people uh, and and finding the people who really see the Cadillac vision here that want to be mm -hmm. make a statement that's different than than, than their standard uh, uh, Rolls and Bentley kind of experience. Um, and then once we get people engaged, the uh, Cadillac house experience where you design mm -hmm. the car, I really can't talk enough about it. It's it's an amazing opportunity to speak with myself, Aaron mm -hmm. Crossley, the designers to work with this car to make it completely your own. Uh, and we've had uh, excellent feedback on okay. that experience and uh, relative to other custom order products. And is it for sale already now? Is it? You can order, yeah. You, you can order yep, it now? You can order it now. Yep. And is it okay to ask if how many people have ordered already? It is okay to ask, but it's not okay to answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. But you have sold some already, yeah, I assume. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. And is there a, a limit? Is there a- Yes, it's very limited. How, uh, how many per year, So say? Well, th so this first year is difficult because it's not a full Four uh, year? model year. Okay. Um, but then after that, we're going to be in the hundreds uh, for okay. total production. Yep. Okay, so it's really the low, the low very hundreds, exclusive. Very exclusive, hundreds, yes. I see. Yep. And then would it, I mean, just in terms of business decision-wise, would it still be profitable? A hundred. Another thing we probably aren't <laughs> going to talk about in detail, but it's not uh, always about it, the, money. the entire car is designed to fit in this exclusive space. Right. So okay, okay. Uh, we didn't just blindly spend a ton of money that you'd never make back on small volume. Sure, uh, of that, That's really yeah. the challenge was building a car that can be successful at this volume. Right, okay, yeah. okay, I see. And also to just create a whole new aura for the absolutely. brand, I suppose. Yes, absolutely. What about the driving feel? Of course, I haven't driven it, but what, what would it be like? That's another spot where we strongly differentiate ourselves from the competitive set. So mm -hmm. we have every technology that Cadillac knows, which is all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, MR dampers that are class leading, okay. uh, air suspension, uh, variable ride height. Uh, mm -hmm. We have active roll bars, so the car, we could actually lean it into a corner if we wanted to. I see, okay. Turns out that okay. feels funny, so we don't do it. Right, uh, uh, but I see. But the other benefit of those active roll bars, aside from the obvious mm -hmm. uh, roll control, is that we can decouple them and let the car ride over bumps, single uh, wheel bumps really well. I see, I see, okay. We have rear steer, which makes okay. it, you know, it's, it's between a short wheelbase and long wheelbase Escalade uh, from yeah. a size standpoint, and it drives like a small compact car. Uh, interesting, um, okay. So all those things together, Mm -hmm. uh, along with the tire I mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. it, it's a fun car to drive. So you get the ride. We benchmark the rolls, everybody else for ride. Right, okay. Certainly there, we know how to do that. Yeah. But on top of that, the driving is wonderful. It's not a penalty mm -hmm. box. You really can enjoy the car on a curvy road. So, so would it feel more like a very soft cruising car or is it actually some it's, kind it's of It's hard to, German again, like the visual, feel. it's hard to describe. Okay. Because you, I would not say a very soft cruising car. I would say okay. a perfect ride. So okay. maybe you would call that soft. Okay. But I as see. soon as you turn in, there is no, no, no sort of leaning down there in the front I end. It, it's very responsive. Uh, okay. And then we have modes. Uh, we don't expect a ton of people yeah. to be in sport mode all the time, but right. if you find yourself on a fun road and you put it in sport mode, it really accentuates the handling side. Right. Uh, okay. And it, it, it lives up to its name. Yeah. Beautiful. Are we allowed to look one of the hood or Sure, yeah, let's, uh, sure let's do the hatch here. Sure. Okay, sure. Yeah. So we'll yeah. do a quick uh, walk around in the back. Again, just a very beautiful, amazing, honestly, just still looks like a concept car, I think. Yes. And then as I think, as I mentioned, I'm a former uh, automotive engineer, mechanical engineer by background, so I really appreciate all the different uh, the casting and the aluminum yeah. finish that you've yeah. done, because I know how hard it is to get that done. Yes. But this is the part you see, So this right? is one the of the parts. Part yep. see. The other great part about this, okay. with this uh, warm forming technology, because it's, uh, it's a manageable die, there are 13 pieces nested inside oh, wow. here when we, oh, when we do the, the forming, uh, and then they're cut out after the fact. Right. Um, so many pieces on the car were formed in within this uh, uh, this opening here. Again, it looks yeah. exactly something straight out of a concept car. Yeah. So very exciting future for Cadillac. It's such a a very different approach to anything you've ever done before. And I so I truly like appreciate that you guys are taking that bold vision and doing something different because I think the world needs something different. I think so. I 
wish you you know much success in the future i don't think i can afford it but <laughs> maybe one of these days something similar to this if it cascades down to other models will be right. a car that i can maybe own and yeah. i really like your lyric for example like yeah. i love the design there's some some family resemblance, which I guess is intentional. It's intentional, and yeah. in fact, this car set the vision for that design. Oh, I see. Uh, I Lyric, see. Uh, being a, a more traditional application, was able to make it out first, but the Celestic was the original the concept. Yeah, that. exactly. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much again. Yeah. Hope you do you work in Detroit then? Yes. Yeah. yeah in, in Warren. In Warren. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some of you guys know I used to work for General Motors way back, and in, in fact, at the GM Tech Center. So hopefully you have a chance to visit maybe your design studio Absolutely. at some point. You should come and see Cadillac House for sure. Definitely, yeah. for sure. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay, yeah, yeah. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah.